Last five years, Dick Vitale's gala has raised millions of dollars in the name of cancer research, and he's been helped by some of the biggest names in sports. Let's go back to ABC7 Sports Director Don Brennan at the Ritz, where this year's gala is about to get underway. And Don, we are racking our brains trying to figure out who the big celebrity is this year. Well, I don't know. You, you heard Dickie V. He's not. He's not telling anybody. I just talked to Mark Hertz. Like he won't give in. I think it might be Kenny Chesney. I, I'm not sure, but right now here at the. The, the Sarasota Ritz Carlton. I'm with Mark Hertzler. He was the ACC Defensive Player of the Year last year, 2008. Yep. And then all of a sudden, a year ago, he finds out he has cancer, rear form, Ewing sarcoma. And this guy, he's a big hulking guy, so you know that cancer strikes anywhere. Mark, I guess when you first found out, what went through your mind? Uh, you know, shocked. Basically, you know, I had, I had no expectation of cancer. I just thought it was leg pain, thought it was muscle stuff, and so. Uh, right away, you just you know you think, well, am I going to be able to play football again? Am I going to be able to you know make it uh, to the next football game even? So you kind of it's, it's shock, and you don't really know kind of how to handle it. Now you've you've gone through unbelievable radiation, chemo. Talk about what that's like, and and how you are right now. Yeah, well, uh, you know, as everybody, if you talk to guys, it says they have chemo. There's ups and downs. There's good days and bad days. Um, and, and for me, on the good days, I could go out and play golf and work out and lift weights. And the bad days, you know, I was just in bed um, pretty much the whole day sleeping. Um, and so, you know, that went on for about eight months, and then I had radiation as well. And so, uh, right now, I'm back, uh, I'm back working out with the team. We start our summer conditioning uh, on Tuesday, and uh, you know, I'm feeling great, strong again, and uh, I'll be ready to go in September. Amazing. Going to play this year. Dickie V last week said you might play this year, and then he goes, he'd be mad at me because he's, he's going to play. He knows he's going to play. Well, la last thing, uh, who is this celebrity? you got to give in, man. got to give uh, it up. <laughs> I can't get in. I got, I got sworn to secrecy, so I can't be telling anybody. Ah, I thought Mark would be the source, man. I thought he would give it up for us. But anyway, Mark Hertzlick, good luck to you. Boston College, we'll look for you on the, on the field this year. And he's here at the Dick Vitale 5th Annual Gala as we are at the Sarasota Ritz Carlton. We'll be back with more at 620. Lauren, back to you. All right, thank you, Don. Appreciate it. Dick Vitale certainly doing so much in the name of cancer research. And if you'd like to donate, all the money that goes into the foundation goes directly to cancer research. No administrative costs whatsoever. You can go to mysuncoast.com for more information. Right now, we'll send it over to Bob for a peek outside. Hey, Bob. Hi, lots of folks in town right now checking out our gorgeous weather here. C7 with sports director Don Brennan. This is ABC7 Sports. Well, tonight is a big night for cancer, and some big names are in Sarasota to help find a cure. Let's head now to the Ritz-Carlton downtown, where ABC7 Sports Director Don Brennan is joining us now live, of course, from Dick Vitale's fifth annual gala. Hey, Don. Hey, Lauren. Thanks a lot. And yes, uh, Dickie V started this gala. It was a party at his house five years ago. Now it's grown into a world-renowned gala to raise money for cancer research. Dickie V... Why? How did it begin? Why did you start it? Well, you know, Donna, well, number one, cancer affects all of us and it's affected uh, me and friends of mine and people I know. And really, uh, I think there's only one way we'll ever beat it is by giving our medical people a chance. And a chance is by giving them money. And right now, that's what we're trying to do. We're getting close to $100 million for the V Foundation by this summer. And I think Jimmy V would be smiling knowing we did that. And I got to repeat this, I always do. Is anybody wants to help us, please call 1 800 4 Jimmy V or go to www.dickvitaleonline.com. You can make a donation. And remember, the life you save could be someone you love. All right, now everybody comes here, but you personally call them. They come because of you. What does that make you feel like knowing that you're doing this for cancer? Well, you know, Don, I, I, I don't know. You know, the fact I call them is a simple, simple request. We're trying to beat cancer. You're a big name. We'd like you to join us. You have a great time and a great time in a beautiful city of Sarasota area. It's fantastic. And I think most of them that come love being here. Once they get to St. Armand Circle, they get to the beaches. We're going to have a surprise tonight. When he walks in the place, did somebody tell you? Yeah, you got to tell me. You got to tell us. He, only between me and you. Between walks, me and you. When he walks in this place, the roof is going to go off. He called me the other day. He's not only donated thousands of dollars, he's as big as it gets. And he's not an athlete. Oh, I'm talking an entertainment. Athlete. Entertainment. And he said, Dick, I've been watching a Mike and Mike. 
I've been observing what you guys have been doing and what you're doing to help kids. I want to be part of it. I'm changing my schedule. I'm flying in with my dad, my lady friend, and we're going to spend time with you. And I, he said, I'm trying to get out of a commitment. And all I can tell you, he is here in the hotel right now. And when he walks in that place, the place is going to go wild, baby. Wild. Well, you got to give us some clue, Dickie can't, B. Come on. I can't. Well, I can simply tell you, he's not an athlete. All right. But well. he is big, baby. <laughs> I mean, big, big. For you to say that, that's unbelievable. <laughs> Dickie B, always a pleasure. The fifth annual gala for cancer research. We're here at the Sarasota Ritz-Carlton. We'll be back in about 15 minutes with Mark Herzlick, a Boston College player who is fantastic. battling cancer. And oh, we'll be back. Fantastic right. story. Thanks. Back uh, to you, Lauren. Thanks, Don. Appreciate it. Well, that was the official tease. We're all wondering. So they were able to play the game. This year will be the fifth annual Dick Vitale Gala, and each one has raised more than $1 million. And this year's gala will be next Friday, May 21st, at the Ritz Carlton Sarasota. Soda. Tony Dungy and Tom Izzo will be the guests of honor. Magic Johnson will be there to introduce Izzo. In fact, college basketball royalty from all over will be here for Dickie V and Cancer. I can't thank all these people enough. They all come down free of charge, pay their own hotel, pay their own expenses, and many of them give us a donation. And their donation is their services and their time to the V Foundation. Yeah, we begin the, begin the plays of the week with an interloper at last week's Players' Championship. They had to chase the little guy away. Look at that slow motion. It is a big night for sports fan here on the Sun Coast. Oh, it doesn't get much bigger. The biggest name in sports, guys like Tony Dungy, Magic Johnson, they're all here for the fifth annual Dick Vitale Gala. It's a fundraiser for cancer research, and sports director Don Brennan joins us live now from the Ritz-Carlton in Sarasota with more. Hi, Don. Scott, thanks a lot. And right now I'm with one of the guests of honors, and I think this might be the guy who decided yesterday's coming. He's the big star, or we're going to find out from him. But Tom Izzo, two straight Final Fours. He's got a national championship under his belt, Michigan State head coach. Tom, what's it like to be the guest of honor? It's such a big deal. Well, anything Dick Vitale's involved with, to be the guest of honor is a, is a big deal. And the, the Jimmy V has been so special. The Volvano family does such a great job with Dick. And uh, I'm thrilled to be here. I've been here a couple times as a regular guest and now an honored guest makes it even more special what uh, I mean it's amazing Dickie puts the bat signal out and all everybody comes yeah he just you know he's a special guy it's not that he's twisting arms either what he is is he's passionate about what he wants to get done and and he's he's so uh, thoughtful on it and he's so honest about it that you just kind of find yourself coming together with him and that's what happened to me and it happened to me a few years ago and I've been down here, I think, three of the four now, and uh, and love being here. You know, Tom, I think, I, I know it's sad, like lawyers, some college basketball coaches get a bad name because they're always looking for the you know, fast buck, but you have stayed in Michigan State. You you could have gone anywhere. You just want to stay in Michigan. You've only left for, what, nine months of your life? Why? <laughs> Insanity, you know? <laughs> I'm up there where there's 11 months of winter, one month of poor sledding, you know? You guys down here, you got that nice weather, but... Uh, Michigan State's been good to me, and you know we we built a pretty good program. We're we're hanging in there year in year out, and uh, got a pretty good team next year. So if I don't screw them up, who knows? We got another chance. <laughs> I don't think that's going to happen. But does it? Uh, what's it mean to you? you? Know like guys like you know that doesn't happen so much anymore. The Gene Cady, John Woodens, that you will be always affiliated with Michigan State. Well, I look at Jim Beheim and Mike Shishetsky. You know those guys have done it. They've been good role models the other way, and. Uh, you know, I always tell our players, you got to leave a footprint where you're at. And to do that, you usually got to stay long enough. And sometimes uh, in this profession where we're hired to be fired, it's not easy to do that. So I've been fortunate. I've had a good assistance. I've had good players. And I've had a good administration. You put those together, and usually you have a chance to win. And we've had a chance. And thank God, one more than we've lost. All right, the big question. I know you're the biggest celebrity there is. No, but there's no. supposedly one more big one coming. Do you, are you a Kenny Chesney fan? Is that who's coming? You got to give us a. You got to give know, us a. You know, I heard those rumors over there, but you know, Dick, he wouldn't even tell me early today. He, it's funny because he keeps talking about it. I talked to Mike Greenberg today from ESPN, and he wouldn't give me the news. I don't think he knew either. But whoever it is, uh, it's just special. The number of coaches he gets here, the number of celebrities. And if it is Kenny Chesney, I know one thing. My wife's going to be really excited. <laughs> Excellent. Tom Izzo, thank you so much. A wonderful basketball coach at Michigan State. The guest of honor here at the fifth annual Dickie V Gala. We're at the Ritz-Carlton Sarasota. Scott, Lauren, back to you.
Folks in our newsroom are excited about Kenny Chesney. If it's him, we'll find out. Don, thanks. Tom Izzo's uh, loyalty runs pretty deep there. It does. He sounds, <laughs> he sounds like a... As to the weekend's forecast, coming up in just a few minutes, Scott. Okay, Bob, thank you. A lot of money raised tonight on the Sun Coast for cancer research. The Dick Vitale Gala happening at the Ritz-Carlton in Sarasota. It's still going on. Many celebrities were on hand to help with the cause. Country music star Kenny Chesney was a surprise late addition, while Tony Dungy, former Bucks coach and Michigan State basketball coach Tom Izzo were the guests of honor. The gala raises the money for the V Foundation, which has donated nearly $100 million for cancer research. And coming up a little later in Sports Don, we'll have interviews with a lot of the big names who are here on the Sun Coast this evening. It's graduation night at New College of Florida, and still ahead, a look at some... You're watching ABC7 with sports director Don Brennan. This is ABC7 Sports. You cannot blink on the night of Dick Vitale's annual gala or you'll miss celebrity after celebrity. Everywhere you look, celebrities from basketball world like Tom Izzo to country music world like Kenny Chesney, the award-winning singer. Tommy Lasorda even made an appearance tonight. Jim Valvano used to be his bat boy when he was a kid. And the Vitale Gala raises money in honor of Jimmy V to find a cure for cancer. Izzo and Tony Dungy were the guests of honor, and that was a real honor for the Super Bowl champion, Dungy. It's going to be a thrill for me tonight uh, just to be around, but more than that, a thrill to, to help out and raise some money for cancer research. I've known Dick Vitale a long time, and just to be, be here and be part of this is pretty special. When Mr. Vitale, he called me. It was big to me, big to me, and I was actually shocked, and I told him right away, I'll be there. Anything you need me to do, I'll do it. And I'm out here trying to show as much support as I can to Mr. Vitale. So the Rays left the Yankees in the dust with a two-game sweep and a